We've got a new star system alpha 3.24.2 patch for Evo Cardi. This time around, it's going to run throughout the weekend. Let's see what's in it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for D Drake Carter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's continue. Let me know, guys. Do you guys prefer B roll, a mix of B roll, and my video, or just my video? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's get straight into this one. This one just dropped not too long ago and uh, testing focus will be stability bug fixes vehicle hud and mfd rework new character created dna faces beards tattoos and hair the arctic and rock cave system and flight tuning archetype balance which is ongoing during the ptu it says there's a few known issues on this one i'm not going to go over that but under features and gameplay they've done a few updates it says here uh characters it says new hair and beard styles addition of multiple new hair and beard styles into the character creator including a long afro twin braids both groomed and long style african beards nice and um after that it says character creator dna it says uh 3.23 point two brings i think that's a typo maybe 3.24.2 maybe uh but it says it brings in additional 21 dna heads to add much more variety for players to create with many new skin tones and facial structures okay um under location it says new caves it says two new cave system archetypes have been added into the pu allowing players to explore inside arctic and rock style caves the arctic cave type it says adorning with luminous pools of water and dramatic stay like and stagmite these caves come to stanton as well as the upcoming pyro system providing a captivating setting for exploration fps missions missing person missions and more rock cave archetype it says illuminated by bioluminescent mushrooms these caves come into stanton as well as the upcoming pyro system provide a unique atmosphere location for exploration fps missions missing person missions and more on the gameplay it says here they've updated all hall emissions to have zero reputation change on abandoned that's nice they also have one for ships and vehicles here actually a couple vehicle hud and mfd rework it says rework of the core functionality of mfds and hud include a full visual update and manufacturing style this new update fully replaces all aspects of the previous hud with a much more dynamic and intuitive design using building blocks that is ready for the upcoming tech such as resource network and including new annunciator panel target status communication diagnostics weapon engineering and more this also includes a new configuration screen to adjust settings that are previously only done in the game settings menu keybinds have also been adjusted and are customizable to assist with maneuvering the updated mfds and hud to allow keybinds joysticks and game pads to have short and long press to focus on screens and select views added buttons to quickly select a weapon preset one to four nice all all guns plus the individual additional groups that is really nice hopefully the most important thing is will these persist <laughs> when we switch between nav mode and scm mode and will they persist from play session to play session that's that's what i really care about next it says balancing update in 3.24.2 balancing still in progress it says it says max boost speed have been lowered for all ships They've updated all attributes for ship computers, excluding weapons. Recharge rate for weapons have been balanced, not final into placeholder until the full weapon balance comes in, fitting the engineering gameplay intention. Shield generators balance pass has also been done. Under weapons and items, it says the multi-tool UI update. They said they've added new icons, updated logic to switch between salvage and repair icons, including transparency of the border in x overlay canvases all right so this one i'm going to make an exception in terms of bug fixes because there is a lot of bug fixes in this one and i'm sure these will change as the patch cycle goes for this video or else this video will be super long and i, I don't want to do that 
all right so they have some techno eight technical fix crashes they fixed four server deadlock crashes and two server deadlock and an arena commander crash fix but they also have a few more updates for arena commander it says front end restyling and improvements the arena commander front end main menu has had its visual overhaul along this visual upgrade we have made several quality of life improvements and feature additions from remember my selection for mode selection to a force launch feature squadron 42 meets persistent universe in this blend of ui style establishing style direction for future arena commander uis game modes it says free flights the player limit increased to 24 the map the good doctor which is going to be a new map um travel over 100 years in the past and explore both inside and out this unique hatfield harding facility on maya in the layer system a historical snapshot of a beautiful location with a harrowing sinister past interesting all right so under systems and balance it says the mini map alongside uh security post career all arena commander locations have been updated to support the new minimap hud feature rac pricing all vehicles rac pricing has been halved that's nice also under miscellaneous it says all locations featuring the hollow sphere have had its replaced with the soft playable area uh, system this uh, should resolve a number of graphical issues caused by the loading and unloading all right guys so you guys let me know your thoughts are you guys excited for Star Citizen Alpha 3.24.2? Let me know in the comments down below. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you're interested, you can find my Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.